So when I click on this at the moment, it still seems like okay, right? So let's just put in a couple of more zeros and try to do this again. When I click on this, now you can see it takes a lot of time to update. And what I want you to show is that the moment I put another zero over here, and let's say if I open this in new tab, and let's say if I zoom in enough, when I clicked on this, you can see none of the selection is working. And I'm actually actively trying to select this at the moment, it's not working. My cursor is hanged because the main thread is occupied. Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, let's just understand how we can use Party Town as a library, as a JavaScript library to implement third party scripts in a web worker and speed up your website up to 10 times, 100 times. I don't know, depends on how much garbage JavaScript you're running, the marketing garbage, as we say, necessary evil. But let's just take a look at how this works. And if you're new to Party Town, you should watch my previous video, which goes into theoretical explanation on what party down is how it exactly works and how you can leverage it today if you're new here make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon this is free of cost and helps the channel grow all right so let's just start by first of all installing party down in our own system right and in our own system when i say that i mean the code damn playground i'll forward this playground link over here so that you guys can all play around with party town without actually implementing anything on your local system so i'm gonna initialize the project first over here and i'm gonna add this party town script to my project so once i do that you will be able to see that inside our package.json you have this builder.io slash party town right now the next thing we have to do is copy the files copy the party town library files now remember that party town actually runs a web worker and due to browser security policies you have to run web workers directly from the same origin right it cannot be hosted from a cdn that means you have to always run party town script that is you know the party town sdk itself from your main website itself so i'm going to go ahead and run this command over here with the help of yarn and it will copy it to a public folder but that's not what we want because our public folder is already our root folder in this case as you can see so i'm going to move this outside of public folder right over here and let's just remove public folder for now awesome so now that we have this set up and ready, we can include the party town SDK. And all we have to do for that is write a script SRC to party town. And you can see inside this folder that there's a party town.js file, which we want in our page. And it'll initialize all the party town service workers and web workers and all that stuff. Okay, with that being done, the next step actually is to actually write a script which you want to run inside of party down so you can see the next thing which it requires us to do is write everything inside of a script type text slash party town and the reason for this is that because we don't want the scripts to load immediately we want this sdk which we have included to read those scripts and then load them so over here let's say i write a regular script at the moment i'm going to give you a very simple example of this so i'm going to start over here with a div id counter and I'm gonna let's say put this as empty and right here what I'm gonna say is let's say I have a variable called i with zero I'm gonna say that document dot get element by id of counter dot on click I want to run a function wherein I increment the i I say document dot get element by id counter dot inner text is changed to i before i do that i also want to run kind of a loop which just wastes computation right just to mimic that party town is actually working so let's say if i do j less than thousand ten thousand maybe a hundred thousand j plus plus and this is basically empty okay so now if i refresh this page over here and if i click on this empty well it works pretty fast because i think we are not blocking it enough so let's give it a couple of more zeros over here so when i click on this at the moment it still seems like okay right so let's just put in a couple of more zeros and try to do this again when i click on this now you can see it takes a lot of time to update and what i want you to show is that the moment i put another zero over here and let's say if i open this in new tab and let's say if I zoom in enough, when I clicked on this, you can see none of the selection is working. And I'm actually actively trying to select this at the moment, it's not working. My cursor is hanged because the main thread is occupied, right? And now you can see all of that happens at the single go. Now we'll move this logic inside of party town. And the way we can do it is by saying script type text 
party down and the moment i do that you're gonna see that if we open the networks tab now refresh this you're gonna see party town actually kicks in right the sdk kicks in and these calls getting started happening in the networks tab now you know why these calls happen we have discussed that in the previous video so make sure you watch that but now when i click on this you can see my main tab is not blocked my main thread is not blocked i'm able to select text i'm able to scroll and stuff i can do anything i want with the page and it'll still take that amount of time it'll update but you can see there's a massive difference in performance and you can see over here it is communicating with the main thread still synchronously this whole code is synchronous none of it has been patched when i click on this again you can see my selection works i can do anything and everything i want with the text this means i can if i have an input field i mean that's that's actually a great way to show this as well let's just throw in an input field over here and let's just say it has a placeholder of type something right now let's just go back give this a refresh and I'm going to start typing here, right? When I click on this, you can see I can still type. It's all fine. It's all fine and good. It's all awesome. And it'll just update. Party Town will update when it has to update, when it spends all those billion, trillion, whatever this number is, cycles. Now, the moment I remove this, that means this is now running on main thread itself. So now when I refresh this, and now when I try to click on, you know, first of all, type something, click on this. I cannot type on this anymore you know this is actually frozen i cannot select this input you can see the dev tools have stopped working the selector is not working everything is frozen because our main thread is frozen now it starts to work and now i can type so there would be a massive performance increase in your websites when you use party town if you are running a lot of garbage javascript it's more like a sandbox to just throw in all the marketing scripts and everything and it's awesome i mean it still has a little bit of learning curve and a setup curve i would say but it's worth it if you set it up for your own product so yep that's pretty much it for this video i will leave this playground link for you to play around in the description of the video so make sure you check that out that is all for this one i'm gonna see you in the next video really soon if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section i watched this video till the end also if you're not part of code dumps discord community you are missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching